subscribe to the java tech learning channel to learn more about new videos hi guys this is vishal in my last video i discussed regarding kafka stream stateful operations and how to apply count method this one will be progression of the same concept where i will illustrate aggregate method I'm going to calculate a running average of order price for buy stock orders by streaming influx of events from stock order events topic. This is the same topic which I use for count implementation in my last tutorial. If you haven't checked out yet, then click on the description link popping above, watch that tutorial and come back here. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use the same code base which I used earlier for the count method. Okay. Uh, the only thing is I created a new package here called aggregate and within it I added a new class running average price right and here I've you know added this uh, you know declaration to use that stock topic right and stream builder and uh, Saturday config util the two uh, beans that we are going to use it's already there I mean it was it's the same one which we used previously and uh, that's uh, you know that's the only thing we need for our uh, aggregate implementation. All right. Here I have added four steps by which I'm going to calculate the running average for buy price. Okay, buy orders to be uh, to be precise. First thing, create a stream on stock. This is a straightforward, right? Here I have already created a method get k stream of stock orders. Okay. Here I'm creating a stream. Okay. Here I'm simply going to call this method. Then filter events by order type buy why we are doing this because we want to calculate a running average price for buy orders right then group events by stock name like this stock name against stock order events right third step apply aggregation on group stream right the result of step two then count the number of events calculate the sum of order price and aggregate the result into stock price sum and count abro schema this is the new schema okay so this is kind of a you know ja object java object created out of the schema so here is the schema right it has a two field one is a count with the default value 0 one is a sum with the default value 0, 0.0 because it's a double right this is going to be our result of aggregation right and then final step here to apply map values to calculate running average right so one by one we will implement this step so first step to create a stream so here i will simply call this method so output of this is going to be this okay k stream stock order k stream and this dot get k stream of stock orders all right so this is my stream created on my topic right now next step is to first filter events by order type so the stock order k stream here first we will apply filter okay filter it will have key value so this is value of of type stock order and this is key right we need to accept only events where order type is by so value dot get stock name dot to string not stock name it's order type order type dot to stream i'm doing to stream because order type is character sequence if i apply equals on the character sequence it doesn't work so i'm doing to string and equals by it will return only those events where order type is by then i'm going to apply group by so group by how i'm going to group by by stock name okay so again it will have a key and value so key dot value then value dot get stock name dot to string dot to uppercase so all will be in the same case then we have to group group with this method okay key is going to be serides dot string because it's going to be st string the stock name is a string then value is we can use this config util class to register that you know uh, new uh, stock order schema and we can you directly call this method all right done 
we applied filter we applied group by what it's going to return if you check it's going to return k group stream so i'm going to take this result into k group stream of type string and what stock orders okay it's group by stock name so i say k or grouped stock order k group stream all right this is done okay now third step apply aggregation on group stream count the number of events calculate the sum of order prices okay so the result of this say step 2 is this one the k group stream okay on this first we will apply aggregate now if i open this method okay here aggregate requires two things one is initializer second is aggregator initializer means initial part okay the what's going to be initial values for your operation or whatever you're doing inside your aggregator and the aggregator that second part is aggregator where you're doing going to do the actual you know uh, calculation okay so for us in order to calculate a running average the initializer will simply initialize my avro schema of type stock price sum and count okay then aggregator will do the counting of the events and calculating the sum of order price okay so in simple words in aggregate first thing i will do this what stock price sum count dot new builder dot build so i'm going to create new object for this that is my initializer then i will apply aggregation okay so this is the this is my key so stock name is my key stock orders okay is my you know uh, value sum count is going to be my initializer this is the initializer okay this is initial value here i'm going to use the count and sum logic here i will create a new one okay so i will just simply use this one to create a new schema stock price sum count okay avro let's say okay and here i will say avro dot set count okay what's going to be a count count is going to be a sum sum and count sum and count is the initializer and here this this initializer and initializer has two right count and double and its default value for count is zero right now you get why we have initialized that so initial count will be zero okay then we'll do plus one to increment the count so we say that we have received one event at the same time we need to sum the order price okay the default value for the sum and this sum and count the initializer is 0.0, .0 right the one we have saw you know seen here 0.0, .0. okay so sum count dot get sum plus stock order dot get order price okay so this is the current event this is the initializer so initializer plus order price okay so this is my avro and i'm going to return this avro all right this is my aggregator now the last thing is we need to materialize it because it's a stateful operation so we need to declare how we are going to store this result okay so materialize with okay we are doing stock name against this stock price count okay so stock name is again serides dot string and stock price is avro so serade config util the same again and register stock price sum count all right what it's going to return aggregate 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 is going to return a k table okay so i'm going to hold this value in k table k table of type string and stock price sum and count okay so k table uh, sum and count k table something like this will give the name all right third step is completed we applied the aggregation we have declared the initialization part 
then we added the logic to count the number of events and to sum the order price with the initial value okay in the aggregation and then finally we materialized it right now last step is to apply map values operation on this result on this k table okay so i'll use this sum and count k table dot map values okay here value mapper we have to give okay so here stock name is my key sum and count avro schema is my value here what i'm going to do sum count dot get sum divided by sum count dot get count so this is how i'm going to calculate my average for each stock right so then this map values is again k table so we need to convert this to two stream right dot now here we have the result we can use this result to publish into another topic or for the sake of demo i'm going to use peak okay just to print that output onto the console here okay in the here the peak the key is going to be now stock name okay again it's a string so stock name and value is double why double because average is we are calculating average it's no more stock price you know this average schema it's going to be a, the output of this right the sum and count uh, div division operation that's, that's nothing but the average so that's why it's a double so i can say average price right and here i can say log dot info average price for stock that is stock name is and here i can say stock name comma average price right this is the implementation okay we created the stream applied the filter group the events by stock name then applied the aggregation by you know providing initializer and an aggregation logic and finally we applied map values to calculate the average all right now let's try and run this application so i will run the application right it started say rebalancing to running that means application is started okay so i will clear the logs let's generate some events okay so here we have this event publisher which is going to generate about 500 events and if you know for the event numbers it will generate the buy order events okay so i will just simply click on this you know uh, generate events api i'll click send so you see producer is started that means it started generating the events now we should get the result of average price for each stocks here because we are logging that into a peak operation it will take some time because stateful operation is not immediate it will emit the results after some time you see here now we got average price for all the stocks right now based on how many events are being published so far on the topic this is the average price okay now if i change this one okay number to something or like 150 and then okay we can restart the application and publish or simply we can publish again more 500 events okay so if i click on send okay 500 events more will be published to the topic and the average price could be different this time you see now average price earlier for this infosys it was 1008.064 now the average price changed to 1005.74 so it's actually calculating the running average okay as many number of events for that stock and for the buy order type comes accordingly it will calculate the average so this way we can use aggregate method to calculate a running average or any other operations as we wish thank you for watching